If you've ever thought about creating your own podcast, but were overwhelmed at the thought of it taking a long time to do, I invite you to join me in my upcoming free workshop all about the top three myths that hold back most would-be podcasters from launching. I'd love to have you join me there as I walk you through the top three reasons why most people tell me they're not podcasting. Want to find out what they are? All you have to do is head over to youngpratt.com slash myths, plural, and save yourself a seat in this free live workshop. I hope to see you there. Are you repurposing your video content? On today's bonus episode, number 215 of the In a Weekend podcast, I'm going to share with you an interview that I was on with Kim White of the My Sexy Business team, and we dive deep into all the different ways that you can repurpose your video content so that you can multiply your message. If you haven't already grabbed my free five-part framework to multiply your message starting with video, you can grab your copy at youngpratt.com slash multiply. Enjoy today's bonus episode. This is Kim White with the My Sexy Business Team. I am here yet again with one of my biz besties. I'm here with the repurposed queen herself, Young Pratt, who is the chief dreamer at Our Young Creators and the creator of the In Awakened series. Welcome, Young. Hello, Kim. It's a pleasure, as always, to be chatting with you today. We chat a lot. That we will confess to. We have been, like, cut off of Be Live after we get done. We have been cut off of Zoom conversations. I'm telling you, we, we can get ourselves into trouble chatting. But we have been talking about like things that are in your business already that you're overlooking, the assets that you're overlooking. And again, not big buildings and not plots of land or big bank accounts. We're talking about those things that you haven't looked at in a long time, maybe, and you haven't paid attention to that you could be leveraging those things in order to make some massive strides in your business. So I love your question on this one in particular, and it's are you repurposing your videos? Because if you're not leveraging your videos, if you're not leveraging the things you already have, why not? Well, it's interesting, too, because, you know, I'm totally guilty of this. When I look back at how long I've been podcasting, which has been since 2013, you know, everything was so hard. and Everything took so much time. Now, though, with technology, we can put things to work in the back end of our business, which automates things and repurposes them. And really repurposing basically is taking a piece of content, whether it's a video or an audio or a written documentation, and you're breathing new life into it. You're sharing it with a new audience. You know, you're, you're just being able to show people and demonstrate that you have all these skills and expertise and you're not having to always be creating everything. And I get that that's the fun part to create things. However, why don't we take all those things you have in your library? And we all have huge libraries of things. And if we can take your video and turn it into you know, a little, turn it into a podcast. That would be the most obvious thing we can do is turn the whole thing into a podcast. If we could then take the video and chop it up into little bits and you can put 30 seconds on Instagram of like the best bits. Again, that's one thing. What if you have 10 things and each of them could become 10 more things? That's really where it gets super fun because once you start repurposing, it gets really addictive. You're going to want to do it more and more, thinking, where has this been all my life? And that's exactly how I felt when I started doing this. Well, and I love it because, you know, if you have a business and you're not going live um, on Facebook for your business, you're missing out on a huge market. If you're not going live on Instagram and you're not going live on, you know, any of the other platforms that you're using, if you are too shy to talk about your business, then you need to get into a class that teaches you how to be on live video like the one we took 
with lights, camera, branding. Like that was a super um, great class for us because it made us much more confident on camera. And I think that that's something that, you know, you and I both can attest to the fact that that was an amazing class for us to learn how to go live. But all of those videos that all of our little circle has been doing, I think that you are exactly right. They're letting them die because they're not reusing them. And every live video is like a mini commercial of you. It's letting people know who you are, letting them understand like what you offer in business and in life and giving them a chance to get to know you in a way that brings you business. It brings you relationships. And so it's, it's sad to me to see like all of these great videos sitting there collecting dust, so to speak, I guess, virtual dust, but <laughs> they're, they're not being used for what they could be used for. Can you give us some examples, Young, of how you have repurposed some things so that anyone who's listening that this is a new idea for, they can understand how simple turning something that you already have into something else is, you know, it's just amazing. Yeah, so I'll share with you the whole process of what we go through because I think it really illustrates the fact that all you have to do is show up once a week. If you, can, if you can imagine, I want you to close your eyes even, just imagine, listen to this. What if you could hop on Facebook Live once a week for 10 or 15 minutes and give some content? Just imagine that, first of all, the going live part and being of service to those people who follow you. Then imagine you could take that same video, turn it into a podcast. You take the transcription from the video and you turn it into a blog post. And then you take that same video and you put it on platforms like YouTube. You chop it up and you put it on Instagram or you put it back on Facebook again as little mini, like Kim said, commercials. And that's one video. So imagine if you had 10 videos right now. Think about the number of videos you might have in your library of content. If one thing becomes 10 and you have 10 of those things, I mean, we're talking about compounding in the, in the best sense of the word. And the beautiful thing is where I love to, to work with people is to show them how to automate all of this because there is no reason in this day and age that you should be doing most of this work manually. There are tools and resources that I just adore that now the idea of one video a week for 10 minutes, all of a sudden you get all these pieces, like that's totally doable. And then you let, the, you let the software do its work in the background on autopilot, and then every week you just do this thing. And by, by the end of a month or a year, I mean, that's 52 weeks you've shown up live, 52 and you, you each one becomes 10 things. I mean, in a year's time, I mean, you can do the math. It's, it's an enormous amount, and we're only asking for 10 minutes a week. Well, and, you know, I want to point out, too, that someone who is maybe skeptical of this process, and we want to point out, too, we're not trying to sell you anything on this video. We're just giving you some ideas to go and do in your own business because we have found an amazing sauce in our own businesses by doing this. But if you took just one year's worth of content and you have a new client who wants to go check you out and you can go back through that year of content and they can see that you have been giving what I would consider timeless messages. It's the principles. It's mm -hmm. the, it's the tips. It's the giving. It's the generosity. It's not 52 weeks of, I need you to buy my thing. It's 52 weeks of giving and sharing and, you know, driving people to your business, whether it's a product, a service, whether it's online or offline. I mean, you can use this in such a sexy way with, like Young said, a very little effort. And when you know the automation part, that part to me is amazing. And I will just tell you all for the record, for the millionth time, because Young is in my life, I have a podcast. And that was a big deal to me. We just finished 
the 21st episode, I think it was. And we would have zero episodes if it weren't for automation because I can't do the hard way. I just do not want to fit that into my schedule to spend several hours a week trying to get a podcast out. And so it is really super sexy to realize that your live videos can become podcast and your live videos can become commercials and your live videos can build relationships with people so that they want to hang out with you and they want to do business with you because they're learning who you are and, and they like you. I want people to like me. Absolutely. Who couldn't like you, Kim? <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's a list. <laughs> well, you know, I, I want to back it up a little bit, too. So if, if someone watching this video says to themselves, 52 videos is a lot. Like that kind of, you know, gives me a little anxiety. Look, I get it. I totally understand that. I want you, though, to make, to make this really actionable. I want you to grab out your phone or a piece of paper, wherever you take notes. And I want you just to list out five to ten of the most frequently asked questions in your business. Then you're going to hop on. You're going to commit to once a week or twice a week, however often you want to do it, maybe once every other week. And you're literally going to answer one of those ten. That's going to save you a lot of time, like Kim said, on the back end, because if someone comes into your business and they're new and you want to introduce them to a process that people ask about all the time, how much greater would the relationship be built if you sent them a video tutorial on how to do this thing rather than trying to write it by text or try to message them each one by one? So once you create these you can use them over and over again. It's really like repurposing, recycling these things because, again, if people are asking this question now, the chances are in five months or a year from now, people are going to ask the same questions. So why don't you put in the, the work up front and take that five or ten minutes and do it now, and then you can start sharing those, and then people start relying on you for this information. And that's really how you elevate yourself to become the expert or the go-to in your industries by providing that massive value and answering questions directly. And I will tell you this too, you think that that's going to take a lot of time to answer those questions or to, to create those videos. But the truth is if the, if one answer is 10 minutes, you're going to save two hours a year for every question that you have already on video to answer. Two hours a year doesn't seem like a lot when you're thinking about the span of time, but times that by 10 questions, mm -hmm. that's like 20, 20 hours. And then you get into more questions because people are seeing you as the expert. Now all of a sudden you've got 20 questions answered on video. And how sexy is it? Because, you know, if I ask a question, and someone has taken the time to actually send me a video instead of just a quick, you know, figured out kind of response. How amazing of a relationship did that just start? Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a lot of the back side. We want to talk about not just the front side, but the back side of how sexy some of these repurposing things are. Because build a relationship with people. I mean, when you build that relationship, how amazing, you know, business can be and how fun. I want to say that too. And how fun. <laughs> yes. And video, I mean, the ability to connect with somebody on video is far greater than somebody reading your blog or just text or you sending them back a cryptic message or trying to respond back to your messenger messages. And there's hundreds of them because everyone has the same question. I mean, this really just is, is such a great tool for you to put in your back pocket. So we would love to know, are you using live video in your business? Just type yes or no below and, and let us know because we want you to start today because it, it, while it may seem fearful in the beginning, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. And in a year's time, when you look back on a video and you're not at least a little bit embarrassed about the quality or what you said or anything in that nature, then you've waited too long to be on video. So definitely, first of all, you know, let us know yes or no if you use video because it's such an important tool in this day and age that every business on or offline needs to be using video. 
And I want to point out how expensive it is to use video. It's free on Facebook. I mean, think about that for a minute. You're spending thousands of dollars on marketing campaigns or on marketing things for your business, and yet you won't do the thing that's the most impactful, powerful, and free mm -hmm. to build that relationship to get more business. So I do want to, like, point that out. Yeah, so if your marketing budget is literally zero, there's no excuse not to flip on your phone and just press record or go yeah. live because what have you got to lose? And the answer pretty much is you have to lose everything if you're not willing to, you know, step outside your comfort zone to really connect with those people who need you the most. Yes, I love this. I love this topic. And I love that you have helped me so much, Yang, with learning how to repurpose in so many really sexy ways. Thank you for coming on and like sharing once again with us a, a repurposed queen tip. <laughs> it's my pleasure, Kim. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> this is Kim White with the My Sexy Business team here on this messy Monday. And I thank you guys for being here and let us know, are you using live video let us know in the comments, yes or no, if you are, because we would love to go and watch some of your videos.